Andreas Rauch and other Baroque composers, and also love the contemporary classical. And part of our mission is to bring some of this less, less often heard music to you as well. And the next piece is such an example. Um, Simon Preston, the composer of the next piece, put at the head of the music the quotation that you see on your program. And I don't believe he said much else about his intentions, but it's clear that the music depicts angel voices repeating hallelujahs over and over again. Um, sometimes they are shouting and crashing and thundering, and sometimes almost like a modern dance, and sometimes for a moment singing sweetly. There are two little motifs made up of five notes each, and one is a simple stepwise uh, idea, and one is a very angular melody. Um, one sounding like this. And the other angular one is like this. And you'll hear those over and over again at many different dynamic levels and different um, tone colors and different pitches and harmonize very differently. And then finally at the end there is a surprising, sudden, short, beautifully dissonant chord, a smashing chord that I think is maybe like the, the final line in the quote uh, where it says, Lord Most High. This uh, wonderful pipe organ has about 2,000 pipes inside of the tape, many of them smaller than the ones that you see out here. Um, in a sense, each one is its own instrument, and other instrumentalists can tune their instruments. Um, they usually tune to the organ, because it takes a long time to tune the whole instrument and take a technician maybe a couple of hours just to even do a, a touch-up to me. Um, so, especially on a day like this, because the pipes, like other instruments, are so sensitive to the weather and to changes, uh, we take the instrument as it is in all its magnificence, but if some of you are very sensitive, maybe even medium sensitive, to pitch, uh, you hear some things that are um, funny and uh, may remind us that Maybe even angel song isn't always perfect. <laughs> 